Secretary of the Present Illness. So all that remains are the special investigations, x-rays, blood tests and so on, to <laughs> confirm the diagnosis. <coughs> well, now you all know how to make a diagnosis. Let's put that knowledge into practice. Come in, please. Oh. Lie down on the couch, will you? This patient has kindly consented to assist us this morning. All right? Yes, thanks. Good. Right. <laughs> now, one of you will come out and demonstrate what you have just learned to the rest of the class. Aided by the knowledge you have already gleaned from the little blue book, none of you will have bothered to get. Did anyone bother to get it up? <laughs> well, well, well. Come along, then. You, sir. You, sir, come on. <laughs> We are over here. <laughs> Fell off in the night, did it, Upton? <laughs> right, stand over there. Right. Now, Upton, this young lady has a little lump in the left breast. It's nothing serious, but she was quite right to see her doctor about it. And I want you to tell me what it is. I don't know, sir. Well, of course you don't. <laughs> of course you don't know. Find out. Yes, sir. Stop. <laughs> Upton, am I right in thinking this is the first time you've met this young lady? Yes, sir. So you do not march up to her, make a grab at her bosom. <laughs> No, sir. Remember your manners, boy. Now shake her by the hand and introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Michael. Oh, my God! <laughs> Miss Walker, this is Dr. Upton, who wishes to examine you, if you've no objections. No. Carry on. Thank you. There you are, Upton. Get on with it. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Control yourself, Upton. I spent the last hour teaching you how to examine a patient. It obviously hasn't percolated through to that atrophied conglomerate of malformed neurons you use for a brain that you ask questions first. Sorry, sir. Well, get on. Yes, sir. Oh, come on, Upton. You should have learned all the proper questions you asked from your blue book, which you obviously haven't bothered to read. Which is why I have taken the trouble to write them all down on the board. Now, see if you can at least manage to find out the patient's name. Yes, sir. What is your name? Marlene Walker. She's Marlene Walker, sir. <laughs> uh, and address? 13 Norris Road. 13 Norris Road, sir. Well, don't tell me. Write it down. Yes, sir. Uh, and how old are you? Twenty-two. <laughs> and uh, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I thought you were supposed to tell me. Ask Miss Walker why she went to the doctor. Oh, about the lump. And uh, where exactly is the uh, lump? In the breast. Lump in the uh, chest. Breath. <laughs> Lump in the. Uh, br br <laughs> Shall I examine her now, sir? My God, Upton, you're a fast worker. <laughs> Aren't you going to ask her anything else? Anything else? Any questions you might have forgotten? No, sir. Oh, yes. What is your religion? <laughs> no! No! Do you want me to ask all those questions, sir? No, Upton, no. Don't bother. A brilliant diagnostician like yourself obviously doesn't need to. But we can discuss that later. You better just examine the patient. Yes, sir. Very impressive, Upton. Can you get BBC Two on that thing? 
pardon, sir? One of these days, Upton, you'll find that expensive instrument very useful in about 20 years' time when you've learned how to use it properly. In the meantime, remember, the most important part of the stethoscope is the part between the ears. Yes, sir. Now, put it away and begin your examination properly. Yes, sir. Stop! <laughs> I think Miss Walker can manage that on her own. Would you mind, please? <coughs> now, Doctor, examine the breast. <laughs> Frighten the patient to death. You look like Sweeney Todd. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I'm warming my hands, sir. I have read about it. Get on with it. <laughs> yes, sir. Stop! <laughs> Keep your grubby little paws to yourself, man. Look first, look. <laughs> what to see? Well, uh, 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 Anything unusual? Yes. No. Uh, no, I mean, no. Uh, Neither do I. Now palpate. What's that? Feel, Upton. Feel. <laughs> what? what? What do you feel? Oh. Well, she, she's got a sort of, um, lump. Oh. Sorry. What sort of lump? <laughs> well, a sort of, um, lump, really. Where? On the end of her nose? No, sir. Well, where? No. In her, um, chair, um... Uh... Tell me about it. Um, oh, God. Please. Well, it's, it's, it's sort of, um... Lumpy. I have spent all day telling you how to describe lumps. Position, shape, size, surface, remember? How big is the lump? Um, sort of normal size, sir. It can't be normal or she wouldn't be worried about it. Take your hand away! Now, is it the size of a football or a pea? It's about, um, uh, uh, so big. About the size of a plover's egg, would you say? A plover's egg, yes. All right. Thank you, Miss Walker. I apologise for my colleague. You've done half put them through it, poor things. I hope it didn't upset you. Oh, no. I enjoyed it. <laughs> so did I. Thank you. Well, now, Upton has made every mistake known to medical science. He wouldn't have made such a fool of himself. It made an effort to read his blue book. You've already done, you? Oh, oh yes, yes. Good. Right, Upton, strip off. What, sir? You'll obviously make a better patient than the doctor, stripped to the waist. <laughs> and I want the rest of you to examine Upton's cardiovascular oh, system. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Good <laughs> and don't bother to warm your stethoscopes. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Uh, name, age, address and religion, Mr Upshot, please. Hey, that's my little blue book! <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Breathe into you. And you all time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.